This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to fill a previously hollowed model to make it solid? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. And the question is asking about taking a model like this that is hollowed out for 3D printing and removing the hollowed aspect and returning it back to a solid model. So are there any processes I can do to make this happen? So the answer to this is yes, and I'm gonna go through a few ways here on how you can take a mesh like this and then bring it back to being fully solid. So no longer having it hollowed out on the inside. So before we get into those fixes, I just wanna show a method in which you can view how the hollowing process is applied to a model. And to do this, you can use the live Boolean system. So I'm first going to navigate over the tool palette over here and go to the subtool area. In the subtool area, I'm gonna locate the append button and I'm simply going to click this. And now I want to click on the cube 3D object here, which will now take that cube 3D object and append it as a new subtool. So now I have my robot and I have this cube 3D object. I want to come over to the subtool palette and select that cube 3D object. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to switch to move mode, which is going to activate the gizmo 3D. And then I'm just going to move this in space in the Z axis. And so now I have my cube and the robot. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to activate the live Boolean option here, which is going to put me in live Boolean preview. And now if I come to my subtool palette and I set the cube to be subtractive, if I have live Boolean active and the subtool set to subtractive, this cube 3D object is now going to be viewed as a negative shape. And if I now move the cube and have it intersect my robot here, you're gonna see that it's going to now apply this Boolean preview and I'm going to get a visual representation of that model being sliced and this will allow you to see that the model is hollow all the way through. So this is a great way to th see the thickness of a model. So if you have it hollowed out, you can use this process of just simply appending a cube, setting that cube to subtractive, and then activating the live Boolean system and moving it through your mesh, and you'll be able to see the inner portions. So really handy little process to see how hollow a mesh is. So this robot here is indeed hollow. So now I'm gonna go back to my subtool palette over here and I'm gonna turn off my Q3D's visibility. I'm gonna get out of live Boolean mode and I now just wanna select the robot again. So with the robot that is hollowed, I now wanna remove that inner portion of the mesh. So if your mesh was hollowed out using the DynaMesh create shell functionality, there is a high probability that the model may contain a polygroup for the inner area and a polygroup for the outer area. So if I come over to the polyframes option here and turn this on, then disable line, you'll see that this model has those two polygroups. So I have an outer polygroup and an inner polygroup. If your mesh is set up like this, it's very easy to remove the inner shell of the model. So all we need to do is hold down Control and Shift and click on the outer polygroup, which will isolate that outer polygroup and then hide any other polygroups on the model. So you'll notice that the outer polygroup of the robot is still visible. However, all the internal parts of the model have been hidden. Now, once we have these internal parts hidden, we can now simply just delete these and then close this hole. So I can go over to the tool palette again and go down to the geometry area and open this up and go to the modified topology area. I can perform a delete hidden, which is going to delete the hidden parts of the model, which is that internal shell. And now I can simply click close holes, which is now going to seal my model up. So closing that hole there. And now my mesh should be solid. So to check this, I can get out of polyframes here, go back to my subtool palette. I'm going to turn back on my cube 3D object. I'm going to select it, zoom out a little bit, switch back to the move mode, which is gonna give me the gizmo 3D and activate live Boolean again. And now if I take that cube and move it through the robot, you're gonna see that the robot 
is now solid. So I've removed all those internal parts. So that is the quickest way to do this if your model has been hollowed out using the DynaMesh Create Shell functionality. You can just come through, isolate that external polygroup, delete the internal one quickly, and then close the holes. So one process there to bring a model back to being solid. So I'm gonna come up and disable live Boolean, go back to draw mode and turn off my cube and then select the robot. So now let's say we have a model like this again, but we don't have that internal polygroup. So I undid back to the original version of the model here. Now I'm gonna press Control W to just give the entire unmasked portions of my mesh one single polygroup. So now I have the robot and it consists of only one polygroup. Now if your model is set up like this, you no longer have that luxury of being able to isolate quickly that inner portion of your mesh. So how can I go by getting this now to be a solid model? So to get this to be a solid model, all we need to do is plug the holes. And to do this, I can use an insert mesh object and then the live Boolean option that's located in the deformers. So I'm first going to navigate over to the brush palette over here and open this up, and I'm going to locate the IMM primitives brush. And you wanna make sure you're in the IMM primitives and not IMM primitives H. The IMM Primitives H brush is only gonna give you these half shapes. So we wanna make sure we have the full ones. We're gonna select this brush here. And then now we should get the IMM Viewer Bar at the top. I wanna to select the third cylinder. And now come across a flat portion of my model. And I'm gonna click and drag out and then hold down Shift, which is going to lock this insert mesh to the camera angle. So I can draw it out facing the camera here. And now when I release, you'll notice that the main part of the robot has been masked out and the part that I just added to that subtool is now unmasked. So now I can switch back to the move option again, which is gonna give me the Gizmo 3D. I can now take this and manipulate this cylinder to place it where that hole is. I'm just gonna move it in a little bit. And you wanna make sure that this is intersecting the model geometry. So I've just taken that cylinder and made it intersect my shape here. So plugging that hole up. Now that I have intersected this, I can clear my mask by holding control and dragging off the model there. And now I just need to take these two geometry islands, so that cylinder and my robot, and weld them together. So anywhere they intersect, I want them to create a weld or a union. And I can use the Boolean option that is located in the deformer palette. So I can click on this gear option here, which is going to open up the deformers. In here, I wanna select remesh by union. And I wanna click this, and this is now going to process with the live Boolean system. After this is completed, you should get this little bounding box that's surrounding your model. We now just need to go to the, the gear option again, and now simply click accept. And this will now return our model back. And you'll notice if you zoom in, and I turn the line back on my polyframes here, that the cylinder and the robot have now been processed with the live Boolean and it is now welded where those two parts intersected. Now this live Boolean process will only modify the topology where those two parts intersect. So my robot here has the same topology, and then the cylinder has the same topology except where they intersect. So you can see it's generated triangles to make that weld happen. So now I can get back into draw mode here, and I'm gonna turn my polyframes off and then zoom back out. And at this stage, after doing that process of using that insert mesh brush to plug the hole and then using the deformer with the remesh by union option to intersect those pieces of geometry, your model currently looks solid. However, if I come back over to my subtool palette over here and I turn on my cube again, select it, go back into move mode and then activate live Boolean. If I drag the cube through my model now, you'll see that it is still hollow. So the Boolean process will create a union wherever objects intersect. However, it's not gonna modify any of the other topology. So since the robot was hollow and that cube was solid, it has just created a weld where those parts intersected. However, it's left the rest of the topology unchanged. So my robot here still has that internal shell. However, now that we've closed up that hole, we now have two separate geometry islands. So we have the outer shell and the inner shell. And now we can come through and take those two shells, give them a separate polygroup, and do a similar process that we did originally 
when we had that model with the internal polygroup and the external polygroup. So I'm gonna go back to the live Boolean option up here and turn this off, and then I'm gonna hide my cube and go back to my robot. At this stage, I'm gonna turn my polyframes back on. I'm now I'm gonna to go to the tool palette and go all the way down to the bottom to the polygroups area. And now I'm gonna click auto groups. And this is now going to look at those two geometry islands. So I have that internal one still, and I have the external. Now I can come through and hold control and shift and click on the external polygroup here, which is going to isolate it. If I click it again, it will hide it. And this will now show me that inner geometry there. So this is that inner shell with its own polygroup. I can flip the visibility at this point by holding control and shift and dragging off, which is going to flip. So now I should only have the external polygroup. Now I can go back to the tool palette again and go to the geometry area. I can go and do a delete hidden, which is going to remove that internal shell. And now if I come back up to my subtool palette, now if I turn on my cube again and get out of polyframes here, select the cube, switch back to the move option, which is gonna give me the gizmo 3D, and then turn on live Boolean. Now after performing that process where I hid the internal geometry island, then deleted the internal geometry island, now if I drag this cube through my model again, you'll see that the robot is now solid. So that is another process using a insert mesh brush to fill the holes, then using the deformer remesh by union to create the watertight model, and then removing the internal polygroup from the external polygroup, giving us a solid mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.